Be nice to yourself. Be gentle. Be kind. When you feel upset, allow yourself to feel upset. I'm Tiana, your future best friend. And I wanted to film this video real quick before my roommate gets back because when my roommate comes home, she'd be very loud. I'm really not comfortable talking about spirituality around certain people. It almost feels like I should just like keep it a secret around certain people. I don't know what that's about, but in this video, I wanna talk about just being nice to yourself. Something I literally, I just had like a realization today that being hard on yourself will not make your manifestations, goals, dreams, whatever, it will not make it come any quicker. You have been hard on yourself from like your entire life all the way to this point now. It's time to stop, it's time to chill. Like breathe with me, like. <sighs> Just be, just chill calm i want you to understand that bullying yourself will not make your dreams come any quicker like this message is mainly for me i am so hard on myself um yesterday i was looking through all my old youtube videos and i cried because i'm like whoa i i am growing i am improving i am good i was good when i wasn't even thinking i was good i was good you know what i'm saying and now I'm in a different chapter and I just understand a little bit better. You know, I'm trying to incorporate these practices. I'm not going to be become my best friend, my biggest cheerleader overnight, but I'm really starting to understand that I'm way too hard on myself to the point where I'm bullying myself, to the point where I'm making myself feel 30 million times less than what I am or what other people see. But at the same time, it doesn't matter what other people see because a lot of people... I, I guarantee a lot of guys think very highly of me, but those opinions that they have on me will not make my dreams come true. I have to think that way of me. It reminds me of Ariana's song, Point of View. Like, I love to see, how does it go? Like, I love to see me from your point of view. You know what I'm saying? Go look it up. I love to see me. I'm gonna play that song after this oh, video. The point is, you need to give yourself double the love, double the care, double the affection. You need to treat yourself. I hope I was going to say treat yourself like your boyfriend or girlfriend or loved one treats you, but they might be toxic too. Luckily, my last relationship, um, I'm going to just call him E. E was very, very, very sweet to me. He would, sorry, I hear noise. He would, um, he would rub oil and lotion all over my body. And I just remember, this is very um, hard for me to admit. No, it's not, I don't care. But when he would rub my, like rub lotion and oil all over my body, I would just look at him and I'm like, whoa, like he really loves me. I don't even rub lotion on, on my body as gentle as he rubs it on my body. Like, but yeah, the point of that is, love yourself treat yourself as if as your loved one would treat you your loved one would not they should not what's just this is just an example if they genuinely had love for you healthy love they would not be like you're so stupid you're so ugly you're not good enough no if you were to tell them hey like i don't feel good enough they would they would try to help you they would motivate you the point is do that for yourself you really will not make your manifestations come if you are not being nice to yourself, if you are judging yourself. They will not, I, I repeat, they will not come. Any, If anything, what will come is that judgment right back. It will be just people just judging you. Like what, you know, the energy you give out is the energy you will receive. If you're always judging yourself, then yes, you will manifest more things judging you. But if you give yourself love and love yourself, then hopefully, I'm not even there yet, but hopefully, you know, you will manifest people that love themselves so that, so that they can help bring that love back. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is not wisdom. So it starts with knowledge. Knowledge is you learn the things that you have to learn. And then wisdom is you learn it. You don't repeat the 
you know the bad the, the bad habits you learn it and then you proceed you move you practice you become it wisdom is first it's knowledge then it's action then it's repeated action that's how you reach mastery and not necessarily mastery but that's how you reach a level where you see the results but also remember these practices this knowledge all this stuff it takes consistency do not expect the results to happen overnight you will set yourself up for failure like i'm really talking to my myself here i'm really talking to myself here be nice to yourself be gentle be kind when you feel upset, allow yourself to feel upset. Just be sad. Don't sit and sulk though. When when I say, when a lot of people say like, allow yourself to feel the emotion, that doesn't mean just sit all day, do nothing and be like, oh, woe is me, my life's, no. Like if you're sad, be like, I really hope um, this video resonated with the people that it needed to resonate with. If you don't understand, that's okay, but please you know just click off the video instead of judging me um because like this video you will understand it if you if you will understand it like meaning like if you know you know if it's for you it's for you if we're in the same um the same stage in our spiritual journey then yes you will understand everything that i'm talking about so if you like this video if you're still here watching Give me a thumbs up leave me a comment leave me some feedback um yeah yes ma'am because i really do love talking to you guys i love sharing what i can share and um yeah if you don't mind i'm gonna pull a tarot card an oracle card i'm gonna pull an oracle card for just the people that are still watching this video at this time and we're just gonna see what happens so i'll be right back i'm really called to these cards Mo moonology oracle cards 44 i always see that it says a 44 card deck and guidebook this is by yasmin yasmin boland i'm really Fun fact, um, my mom bought these cards, but my mom's not very spiritual. So so when I would see the cards in her room, I'm like, mom, do you know how to use those? Can I have those cards? And she just, my mom, she's very possessive of her things. She's like, no, they're, they're mine. I bought them for me. So then I just let it go. You know, I forgot about the cards. I have a, luckily I have a sister who sent me my own Oracle and tarot deck. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. But um, the other day, I went to my mom's and I seen the, the, the deck again. And I was like, mom, like, let me use those cards. <laughs> so they are mine now. The energy is like my energy is synced in into these cards. These are my babies. And I'm going to use these for myself and for you guys if you allow me to. So, um. So I'm just going to see like what is a message that we all need to hear right now. What is something we all can benefit from hearing right now at this very instinct, instant, instinct. I don't know, y'all. Um, what is the message that we need to hear right now? Okay. Some cards fell out. A few cards fell out. We have a new romantic cycle begins. And um, romantic, um, when it says a new romantic cycle begins, I don't always necessarily take that as a, a, like, you know, society's impression of a boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't necessarily take it as that. Sometimes it could be, it could be anything that inspires you, brings you love. It, it means that you know a new romantic cycle is beginning so if that resonates with you that's really cool we have work through your fears yes this is this is especially for me because just doing this right now is me working through my fears it's me stepping out of my comfort zone so yes the message for you is anything that is scaring you work through it and watch the the blessings come but you have to get over that fearful stage and i'm i'm here i'm gonna do it with you you're not alone 
bring love into the situation um if you have any conflicts be the be the bigger person you can't i don't think the fire goes out if you fight it with more fire you know what i'm saying be that the water be the love that just washes it away remember that we are all one we are all connected remember that separation is an illusion bring love into every situation any conflict bring love into it be that person and then it says balance spirituality and practicality yes i feel like um for some reason this reminds me of feminine masculine masculine when i say when i say masculine i think logic when i say when i when i say feminine i just think spirituality i don't i don't necessarily want to say that because i don't want people being like spirituality is not just for feminine you know what i'm saying but i hope you get what i'm saying balance spirituality and practicality i think yin and yang and i think dark and light i just think balance i'm a libra my whole goal purpose wish mission in this life is to master balance so i think this um speaks for itself balance spirituality and practicality um practicality be grounded spirituality just remember who you are and remember who just remember the powerfulness of all of this and that's all i have for today thank you for watching this video thank you thank you thank you thank you i love you so much i really hope to see you again if you're still here thank you